So tonight, after we get this going, we're going to have Dr. Matt on, Dr. Matt Dawson. I met him recently up at the castle. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. He's a sharp guy. Yeah. So he's telling me about it. I'm asking him this question, and he's fired up about it because that's what he's studying. He's interested in it for his kids, for himself. Right. So anyway, we're going to talk to him about vegetable oil hmm. in a little while. We're going to have him on occasionally to tell us, kind of steer us in the right direction. We may veer off the path here and there, and we're going to do him. that. We're going to do tell. that. Yeah, just don't be Okay, he won't watch. He won't tell him. So anyhow, <laughs> in a little while, vegetable oil. Sounds good, right? Vegetable? Yeah. Oil? You would think it's good. Not really. Okay. We're going to talk about that later. Okay, let's mix up our meatloaf. I'm going to go two to one, beef to pork. Now, if you'll remember, let's take a look back. We make our own your sweet Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take two cups of breadcrumbs. Now, you can do Italian, you can do whatever you want to do. A little flavor won't hurt you. A little basil and oregano really works well in some barbecue. Now, before we go to grinding on this, we're going to take, I don't know, a third of an onion, and we're going to cut that up really fine. Got to have some onion there. I mean, really fine. I like it really fine because you don't want a big old chunk of onion because sometimes they don't cook right. up real well in meatloaf. All right, of course, two eggs. We use some salt and pepper. Let's use about a teaspoon and a half salt. And the same with pepper. Now let's take some chili powder. Okay. I'm going to go over, over a tablespoon on it. I want to taste it. I want to okay. taste it. And cumin, when I do my chili, I have a lot of cumin in my chili. Good for you. You know, a lot of times you'll want peppers and you want some onions mm -hmm. and some various other other kind of chunky right. vegetable-like stuff. So I'm going to just put some chow chow in there. Good idea. Let's use a heaping tablespoon. I like that. Of chow chow. Maybe Perfect. just, yeah, maybe just a little bit more. All right. Now that'll give some nice color in there. Now I'm going to end up with my barbecue sauce and I'm going to put about a half a cup. And then let's go maybe a third of a cup of your favorite beer. You can use darker light. We don't want it too moist. Ready? Dig. So now imagine, now I'm smelling right now. Oh, that doesn't smell good. It does smell really good. You get the yeasty smell of the beer and the cumin and stuff going. It smells like a, almost a good chili. I like your barbecue sauce idea too. Mm -hmm. It moistens it up and yeah. the flavor goes throughout. You've got like a little bit of sweet. You've got the like onion. That. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in a loaf pan, an already greased loaf pan. We're going to put that on the smoker as well at the same time that we put the jerky. Okay. So I'm going to go 225 to 250. I'm going to let it cook for a while. I'd say around, it's got pork in it. So you want to go at least 160, maybe just a little bit more. The last 20 minutes that you're cooking it, put you another round of barbecue sauce, just brush it on the top and guess what you got? Delish. You got a week's worth of good eating. That's right.